Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about a new concept called placeholders or key localization. If you have multi-language websites in edge delivery services, this concept is very helpful and important. To understand this concepts, let's recall the I-18 and keys. If you are already worked with AEM, you must be knowing I-18 and keys, where we store the key and against that key, we store multiple values of different language. And in component, we only use key. So if that component is used English, the value against that key stored in English is used. If we use that component in French, so the value stored against that key in French is displayed over website. So the same localization of key achieve in edge delivery services using concept called placeholder. So if you have multiple strings or variable that is being used throughout your websites, throughout your different multi-language websites. So we store those keys and text or keys or values in a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet can be stored centrally or in different root. What do you mean by that? So you can have one spreadsheet and you can store different language values in one spreadsheet or you can have multiple spreadsheet within respective root. Let's say I have two websites, English and French. So I can store two spreadsheet, one in English, one in French. This is completely depend on your implementation. The concept I'll explain, but it based on your requirement, based on your project, you will achieve this as per your need. I will explain this concept with the help of one of the demo so that you can understand what's going on there. So let's say I have one block where I store or display author information until i have only language site let's say i have only site called english where i author uh, that block inside doc document using table simple i have cells where i keep keys and values but what happened later i got one more website let's say french now i have english and french how then I store those values of different websites so what different languages so what would I do rather than store or author those uh, content in table what I do I store that content in placeholders so now it's up to me how I would achieve this so what I do I store that content in two different spreadsheet one for english and one for french so if i would be in english the values would be fetched from the english and if i would be in french the values would be uh, fetched from the french spreadsheet okay it's completely your choice you can have only one spreadsheet and based on some logic you can fetch your values in this demo what we would see two websites two different placeholder sheets now let's move on demo again important here is concept not how do we achieve this how do we write code that's not important important is what are we going to achieve and how are we going to achieve you can definitely customize this based on your project based on your need so here I have a component and uh, not component block. Obviously we use block in edge delivery services. So what I'm saying here, if you author using table, then display values from the table. If you don't have further rows in table, then display from placeholder. So if you see here, I have, I author two in one page, I say, this is my block and these my values in table. So display from table. If you don't use table, if you don't have any rows in table, then display from placeholder or spreadsheet. That's the logic I wrote in this component. What is written there? We'll see that, okay? What happens? So let me just publish this and see how it works. And again, let me show you uh, spreadsheet how actually we manage spreadsheet here here 
the name of that sheet should be placeholders that is important definitely you can change this but you have to change code for this i'll show you where that code is inside this you have to add two columns first column should be key this should be key only you cannot use anything else and further column you should have text so in first column we will add keys and second we will add text means the value against that key so inside that code we will use this key and when a particular website we fetch this value okay so wherever in code i will use this key and in particular condition or something i'll fetch this value and i'll display this okay so now first let me publish this and let me show you how it work here so i preview or publish that the both docs if you see this is author which is coming without placeholder if you see this is the doc from where these values are coming so these values are being displayed here okay and author one if you see author one it's a without placeholder these values are coming from this placeholder these values okay these values why because i added a condition here if you see no rows then fetch from placeholder i'll show you that code don't worry about it okay first understand what are we trying to achieve here right but what happened this when i had only one website now let's say i have two websites english and french now french came in so how i use the same block in french okay so i created inside this i created block called author and again in french let me go to the french hierarchy i created another one and let me publish these both right now now i'm not authoring in table everything i'm being fetched from the spreadsheet okay so let me publish these two so i created two different docs one in french and one in english again i created a different spreadsheet inside fr means fr directory and english directory so this is fr spreadsheet and let me go back here to this sheet right you will see in english i have all the values in english in french i have all the values in french so ideally these values should be on french these values should be available or in english the english values should be available so let me close this or oh, local even on french the english values are coming on even on english obviously the english values should be available right so what is happening here what is happening here if you see here even if i created these sheets inside my locale inside my folder but still it is picking values from this one which i created inside my root so what is happening how exactly the values are being picked let's understand that first so you will understand this by code okay let's go to the code first so don't worry about this the lot of code what is happening how it pick placeholder first of all so you will see here this line actually this line this is called fetch placeholders right there is a function inside your library file written call this fetch placeholder fetch placeholder fetch these values it says let me open this file as well this is important this is actually you need to understand so that you can implement this based on your need okay and it should be inside scripts am and let me search placeholder right so you will see here this is library code i did not modify anything inside it so it says fetch placeholder prefix placeholder so you will see the name of that spreadsheet should be placeholder if you want to have a different name you have to update that code here so you would see here this code always fetch the value inside root so what you have to do this 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 thing okay and in my code where is my code uh, author okay i'm saying fetch placeholder so it it is fetching always the file which is over root in root so i have to modify this code okay i have to modify this code this code either this code or that code library called 
it's completely your choice based on your project okay so i would modify both based on my need so okay i made two changes one change inside block another change inside my library file so to understand this what i'm trying to do here you must remember a previous tutorial which i explained about metadata so inside this website i added metadata based on the language right metadata of locale so i added a locale based on website if you I remember uh, exactly I, I mentioned the tutorial number in description but you must know that concept before you actually implement this on your local okay so what I'm trying to do here is I get a metadata called locale which I had already set in previous tutorials where it set the locale let's say for English it set en and for a French it set fr I got this locale and I pass that locale inside the same function right same library function right inside library I add let me search that rest everything is same I created two different URLs of that uh, spreadsheet right spreadsheet where the information stored so it says if locale is present fetch from the locale if locale is not present then fetch means that that is not present then fetch from the center fetch from the root so what happened now i only make these changes okay nothing else rest function is same right it says if it is a french then pick that spreadsheet from the french root if it is english then pick from the english so now it should fetch corresponding values okay now let me refresh those okay ideally it refresh itself you don't need to refresh if you refresh if i go here now you see the french values are being picked now right this this is in french and values all keys and values are being fetched from that spreadsheet if you see here english and french okay let me explain let me take few more minutes to explain this code because this is important right this this table creation code is not at all important the important part is these three lines right three lines again what is happening here there is a metadata i have added in previous tutorial called locale and locale values has en for english and fr for french because i need some identifier to identify what is the locale of my website right so I got this. This is again a library function. You don't need to write this. Get metadata, right? Locale. Again, once I have this locale, I use the same function called placeholders and pass the locale. And I updated this function a bit, a bit. Let me again, where it is, a bit. I only creating these URLs, nothing else. Rest function is exactly same. So once i have it then i got this object called placeholders this object contain all of your values all of your values inside this to fetch these values you need to define your keys here right whatever the keys were there in spreadsheet now there is a question uh, important for interviews and for your understanding keys you see f name key f is capital there is a space and again there is a key is capital k is capital but inside this let me go back what i'm using f small lowercase no space and then keys so you must understand if you have space in keys don't use that space if you have a letter in uppercase lowercase your first letter in your key this is important this is sometimes you can make mistakes here you will see here even if there's a one word and first letter is capital lowercase that letter so if you see role here i use role with r small lowercase and if you go here it says role uppercase r so what you need to do lowercase your letter lowercase your character of your first letter first uh, first word and you if you have space don't use that space so these three lines are important you need to understand only this and whenever you want to use it just use this key 
that's it you don't need to do anything whenever you use this key the value correspondent to that key would be available in your website i hope you understood again i would stress on this right this is based on your project implementation okay as per your need you only need to remember these three lines these two or three lines you can update code here and here as per your need if you use a different file name you can update it here if you want to add different logic you can update it here based on your project requirement i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you